Are we ready for the second performance? Very nice. Next from Montessori Penguin School in Andhra Pradesh, let's welcome Darla Tarisk. Very, very well done. Yeah, you're moving like a king one step at a time. Well, well done. High five, king. Okay. So, do you play chess? I play chess. I recently learning chess. Oh, nice. Very good. Can we have a round of applause for Dalla? Very, very well done. Can you say bye to everyone? Say bye-bye. Okay. He's actually moving like a king. One step, one step. And now the winner of Lil Champs at Lead Championship Grand Finale is Darla Taresk from Montessori Penguin, Andhra Pradesh. Next, from Montessori Penguin, Andhra Pradesh, let's welcome Paragam Suprata. Water. 
the most essential source of our life. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Supreeta, studying in seventh grade from Montessori School, came from very small and beautiful town, Guntakal. And the topic I chose today is freshwater scarcity. Have you ever wondered life without water? We living beings are very blessed as our Mother Earth gifted us with variety of natural means that helps us to survive. But amongst all of them, the most vital element that contribute in our existence is water. About 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water and 3% of it is actually fresh water that fit for our human consumption. Around two-thirds of that is tucked in frozen glaciers. Now, moving on to the consequences that we are going to face if we won't pay attention to this issue. There will be disturbance in our personal hygiene. The crop production will decline due to the lack of water. Water will be sold at much higher price which will affect the poor people. Lack of water for plants will hinder their process of making food. And this will cause innumerable problems like no food, no oxygen and no life. But how did this word, water shortage, turn out to be a crisis? The reason behind this is us, yes, definitely us. We are not using the water, we are actually wasting it. The ecosystem never fails to meet its promise of providing water, but it's we who are not utilizing it well. We can collect enough water through rainwater storage system on the rooftop. Water can be conserved by installing water saving appliances in our home. Now, let us don't just sit, but act upon it. Have you noticed what I have done before starting my speech? Yes, I did prick my bottle. Two minutes earlier, the bottle was full. Now it has been reduced. If we can see the difference in two minutes, imagine the coming days. Thank you. Very well presented. Yeah, yeah you can. Preserve water! <laughs> oh, well done. Very, very well said. Very well presented. And uh, who gave you this idea of the pricking the bottle and opening a cap? My principal, sir, Ar Arjun, sir. Where, where is sir? Yeah. Very well done, sir. Thank you very, very much. That was very nice to see some visual effects. And uh, what plant is this? Can you name the plant? Jute. I don't know. Yeah, correct. That is correct. <laughs> Well done. Can we have a round of applause for her? Because she was absolutely wonderful. Thank you and we'll see you soon.